People have historically been both terrified of and captivated by the unknown. Redheads have endured numerous stigmas throughout history since they are an uncommon occurrence in nature. Numerous cultures have various definitions of red hair, which is frequently connected to magic and the paranormal. How much of it, though, is genuinely accurate? These 30 redhead facts will help you understand why they are so uncommon. Please remember to like and subscribe for more interesting facts as you click your way across the globe. 1. Left-handedness is more prevalent in redheads. According to certain studies, redheads are more likely to be left-handed because it's a recessive feature. Few people in the Western Hemisphere are left-handed, similar to their hair color. In all, 10% to 15% of people worldwide are affected by this recessive characteristic. 2. The Greeks thought redheads could turn into vampires. Redheads were frequently associated with the Thracians, or those who resided north of the ancient Greeks, by the Greeks. The Greeks thought that these redheads would become vampires when they died due of their frequent usage of barbaric behavior. 3. The fear of people with red hair is referred to as gingerphobia. The term gingerphobia refers to a strong aversion or dread of people with red hair. Extreme forms of this fear might result in animosity toward people who are redheaded in general. 4. According to Mark Twain, those with red hair are descended from cats. Famous author Mark Twain is well recognized for his books, but he is also noted for his assertion that redheads are derived from cats. This saying is based on the stereotype that people with red hair have hotter tempers than people with other hair colors. 5. It's a widely held opinion that redheads may go extinct within the next century. Numerous research have revealed that the ginger population's red hair gene may be eliminated as soon as 2060. Others, though, think that the gene can be dormant for several generations before coming back. Scientists believe that the gene can persist and be passed on eternally as long as those who have it produce offspring, even though a conclusive solution has not yet been discovered. 6. Dying red hair is frequently more challenging. Red hair that is naturally red tends to be more difficult to color because of its color and stiffness. Natural red hair would need to be bleached first to make it blonde or another lighter hue before being dyed any other color. This, however, also harms the hair and increases its susceptibility to breakage and dryness. Before hair color can adhere to the hair, usually two to three bleaching sessions are required. 7. In the event of a severe protein deficiency, dark hair may become red. Quash Yorker, a disorder caused by severe protein deficiency, is most common in nations where the diet is high in starch and low in protein. Children with the condition had red hair in 1932, and these signs were frequently seen in them. Other symptoms of the illness include edema, rashes, and dry skin. In addition to fatigue and digestive issues, Quash Yorker patients frequently experience anemia. 8. Parkinson's disease may be more likely to affect redheads. Redheads are more likely to get skin cancer than people with other hair hues, according to research. Additionally, this may result in deadly or seriously ill brain problems. Due to the MC1 gene, which restricts the amount of dopamine released into the brain, redheads are particularly sensitive. In general, redheads have a twofold increased risk of Parkinson's disease compared to people with black hair. 9. The red hair gene may have also been present in Neanderthals. According to research, our pre-evolved ancestors once possessed a variant of the red hair gene that caused red hair color. The red color wasn't as vivid as the red we see now, though. This shows that the gene was not passed down through inbreeding among Neanderthals. 10. Hitler prohibited marriage for persons with red hair. The dictator of Auschwitz declared that he outlawed this union because he thought the children would be spoiled. Apart from this, no additional justification was provided. 11. In ancient Egypt, redheads were frequently sacrificed. Redheads served as sacrifices to the god Osiris in ancient Egypt. 
Ancient Egyptian witches burned red-headed men and dispersed their ashes with winnowing fans, just like the Salem witches did. 12. Red-headed slaves were highly prized in ancient Rome compared to those with dark hair. Due to the high demand, the Romans used to charge more for red-headed slaves. Owning a red-headed slave at the time was considered a sign of wealth and great status. Because so few slaves had red hair naturally, many others were made to dye it red so that it might be preserved as a trophy. 13. Redheads rarely experience hair graying. Redheads tend to retain their natural hue longer than people with other hair colors, according to research. Redheads' hair color will progressively deteriorate with age, going from their natural red to a range of copper to blonde. Once they are old enough, though, this too eventually fades into a silvery white. 14. It was rumored that Lilith, Adam's alleged first wife, had red hair. The Old Testament of the Bible, notably Isaiah chapter 34, makes reference to Lilith. Although the translation is up for debate, the original text refers to a massive pile of flaming red hair. 15. More anesthesia is needed to put red-headed women to sleep. According to a widely held scientific theory, redheads have a lower pain threshold, hence they require more anesthetic. This is brought on by the mutation that also changes the color of their hair. According to a 2004 study, people with red hair need an average of 19 to 20 percent more anesthetic when undergoing medical operations. 16. Red hair is a common feature of satanic imagery. This is because red is frequently connected to moral decay and sexual yearning. Aside from this ominous imagery, the ancient Gaulish Morovians believed that red hair was a sign of exceptional magical ability. 17. According to certain experts, Adam had red hair. His name, which means red, is the main source of this notion. According to a passage that compared his skin tone to that of the early atmosphere, he is also thought to have had a pink complexion. According to some translations, this can be a reference to the scarlet of the sunrise, which matches the color. 18. Redheads are still associated with witches in some parts of Africa. Several murders in Africa's history were motivated by the belief in witches and witchcraft. This exacerbates the negative societal stereotype associated with red hair. 19. Eve is portrayed with red hair in certain artistic representations of Adam and Eve. The rebuke of Adam and Eve by Domenico Zampieri is one of the known works of art that shows Adam and Eve having red hair. Other works by Hieronymus Bosch, Hans Bald Ungren, and others include The Garden of Earthly Delights, Eve, Serpent, and Death. 20. Women with red hair bruise more easily than those without. Medical professionals have repeatedly proved that redheads are more likely to bruise following surgery. Research has also revealed that redheads bruise more easily because the MC1 a gene, which generates red hair, also affects the lining of blood vessels in the body. 21. Redheads have a rich history. Numerous historical figures who had a significant impact on the course of events were redheads, according to scholars. Roman Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte, Helen of Troy, Cleopatra, Thomas Jefferson, Vincent van Gogh, Galileo, and numerous others are on this list. 22. In order to carry out specific rites, pagan witches would dye their hair crimson. Both contemporary pagans and native shamans hold the view that hair is frequently linked to vigor and strength. According to a lot of folklore, a witch's power is tied to her hair. Red hair is thought to emit more mystical energy during some rites. As a result, in order to properly perform rituals, many witches use henna to color their hair red. 23. Redheads are preferred by bees to persons with various hair hues. The rich coloration of their hair, which resembles flowers, has led scientists to hypothesize that this might be the cause. You'll be sure to draw in more visitors than just bees if you pair this with your best shampoo. 24. According to certain myths, red hair originated in Atlantis. The prince visited the city of Atlantis while on the run from his native country, according to mythology, and that is where he obtained his red hair. 
When the prince arrived, his hair had already changed to the same fiery red hue as the sky and clouds. It is stated that the prince himself is the ancestor of everyone with red hair today. 25. Blue eyes and red hair are the most uncommon genetic combo. Only a small portion of people in the world have this specific combination of hair and eye color. The likelihood of possessing both of these characteristics is exceedingly low, 0.17%. Due to their recessive nature, these characteristics are uncommon in persons. This is only conceivable if both parents carry the MC1 or gene and the blue eye gene. 26. According to a play, the fat of a red-headed man is the ideal poison. George Chapman's tragedy, The Tragedy of Bussy D'Ambois, is regarded as his best work. The narrative is based on the actual occasions that led up to Louis de Bussy D'Ambois' 1579 murder. In the play, it is stated that redhead fat is necessary to make the ideal poison to murder someone. 27. Tiziano Vaselli painted redhead so frequently that the color red came to be associated with him. Tiziano Vaselli, often known as Titan, was a Renaissance artist well known for his paintings of people with red hair. His most well-known creations include the Assumption of the Virgin, which was begun in 1516 and completed two years later. Additionally well known for his distinctive use of color and distinctive depictions of the human body was Tiziano Vaselli. 28. Redheads are more sexually active than women with different hair colors. According to a German study, redheaded women are more sexually active than blondes and brunettes. This might be a result of the widespread societal phenomena where people value redheads higher due to their rarity. 29. Redheads are more susceptible to temperature changes. Redheads are not only more sensitive to pain, but they also detect temperature changes more quickly, according to research. In addition, compared to people with darker hair hues, this sensitivity is stronger. 30. Redheads have less hair follicles than the average person. Redheads typically have about 90,000 hair strands, whereas blondes will have more than 140,000. However, redheads always have a full head of hair since red hair is typically thicker. Redheads are still just regular folks, despite what the internet would have you believe given their particular genetic composition. Redheads are merely living proof that being unique needn't be a bad thing. Redheads, aside from their magnificent hair, are just regular people who want to get by. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos if you liked our video.